Happy are those who do the work of the Lord. Zion belongs to God and the people of God. It is a natural temple and monument to his glory. When our Lord entered the temple and found it polluted by money changers and beasts, did he ask them to leave? Did he cry? Did he simply walk away? No. He drove them out. It is one thing to forgive a slap across my cheek, but an insult to the Lord requires... No. It demands correction. More importantly, these guys just shoot... Whenever they see something, they shoot them with machine guns. That's my problem, is... I think it does require correction when people are just around shooting everybody. It's okay. To just shoot everyone with machine guns? But we don't have any. We that's, just have this... That's our problem. You, have, you only have pistols. I have a se this semi-automatic auto pistol. <laughs> I'm not like, we just, hmm, okay. <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't know if you get it, but I don't believe it. You believe it? Fair enough, or... Mm. I mean, on one end, he's being a bit of a zealot about it. On the other end, the white legs do seem to be just a ball of hostile. Yeah, they basically run... They function exactly like raiders in this. Except they don't give you words you can understand. I think, hmm, okay is an adequate summary of what I think about this. You're not so certain. Fair enough. I mean... We all have doubts. I'd like if we could figure out why they're shooting everybody. Seen, and yet have believed. But you can be a Thomas for now. Fight the White Lakes enough, and you'll see the truth. But they're just I all just hope that by the time you understand, there will still be time to convince Daniel that we have to fight for Zion, to save it and the sorrows. How about this? I'm just gonna run errands everywhere, and when if how about the, you the, sell him some welcome stuff? Back. Yes, absolutely. What can I do for you? Let's let's do some shopping out here in the in, the, in this river. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry yeah. about it. Just send me on me on these little chores everywhere, and they'll see me, and they'll shoot at me, and I'll just kill all of... I'll destroy all of them in self-defense. I mean, that still sounds like what he's saying. Yeah. He has gotten no more ammo. Or caps. I could buy a, mich a smig just to build it, but I need more ammo for it first. No, he just ha he doesn't have anything for me. What yeah, do you? Didn't you have stuff to sell? I do, but he has no money. What do you know about salt upon wounds? Uh, what do we know about salt upon wounds? I don't know that name. Can I ask you personal questions now? It's not something I enjoy, but I oh. pray to God that someone may. Oh, you'll talk. You'll usually talk about this as long as you're just standing you in the like river at night in the rain. Are you in much pain? Is there anything I can do to help? I mean, I think that's a fair question. Yeah. You are kind to offer, but no, there's nothing you can do. We don't use cabins, but I learned long ago that I'm immune. You can't be immune to chems. It never stops burning. Oh. My skin. Every day I have to unwind the bandages and replace them with fresh ones. Exposing my body to the air is like living through it again. But it's better to be clean than comfortable. Somehow I don't believe that if your whole body is covered in still hurting burns for years on end that you're in a livable state. If you had to change your bandages constantly, I'm pretty sure that... No, especially in this world, you're just going to die of every infection at once all the time. Yeah, unless it's like some sort of radiation situation and... Unless he's a mutant. Yeah. Maybe the burning is just purely, like, psychosomatic. It could be. It could be. I mean, maybe sort of being set thing. on fire and thrown in the Grand Canyon is severely traumatic, maybe? Yeah, but I'm just saying it could be a neurological thing. We have a medicine of over 30, at least. <laughs> it's not... So, what about the war between Caesar and Nancy? What do you... What, what's the, what do you get over here? I try not to involve myself with matters of the Mojave anymore. All I know is from before the Battle of Hoover Dam. Do you know about Mr. House? 
I had heard of him, but when we were preparing to enter the Mojave, he didn't seem relevant to what was happening. From what I've learned since Hoover Dam, he handled the Mojave tribes in a fashion not entirely dissimilar from Caesar. It's too bad. That's good information to have when contemplating working with him, you know? That he's worked with Caesar? Know that he handles the tribes in a similar manner to Caesar, which from judging Caesar, it's a matter of you're with us or we will We're destroy going to torture you. you. You're with us or you're against us, so. Being compared to Caesar generally seems not to be a good thing. It's. Were you always with the new Canaanite knights? I was born in Ogden, but people came to call New Canaan. Things were more peaceful when I was growing up. When I was a young man, I went out into the world to do missionary work, as all new Canaanites do. I traveled along the Long 15 and followed 89 South into Arizona. Along the way, I met two men from a group called the Followers of the Apocalypse. Edward Sallow and Bill Calhoun. They came to Sallow? teach the tribes. Yes. Oh, S A L O W. Edward was the one who got us into trouble down the road. Was one of those men the Caesar? No, not then. Back then he was just Edward. Smart man. Caesar's real. Oh, uh, so it is kind of a reference to the movie. We thought we Sallow. could hike into the Grand Canyon and talk to Blackfoots. We did. And the Blackfoots were friendly enough at first. But then they became the white and leg. eventually. I've thought back to that day so many times. I must have mistranslated. Something must have been mixed up. Because the Blackfoots decided we weren't going to leave. The rest is history. Assuming Edward hasn't changed it. I really like that Caesar's real name is Edward. I don't know why, but that... Are you able to call him Edward after this? Probably not, since this is DLC, but I'd like to think so. How'd you end up being the guy? This way lies the path to hell. Ed Caesar needed me to translate. Translation became giving orders. Giving orders became leading in battle. Leading in battle became training, punishing, terrorizing. A series of small mistakes before a great fall. And I stayed in that darkness until after Hoover Dam. After I failed Caesar and he had me burned alive, thrown into the Grand Canyon. How did you survive? To be fair, he could have been the kid if he wanted to be the guy, or if he became the guy. Yeah. Which so at least does involve a lot of misery, as anyone who's yeah. played it. Remember, it does them. seem like he regrets his mistakes. Mm -hmm. I survived because the fire inside burned brighter than the fire around me. I fell down to that dark chasm. So basically the determination. On and on. The next morning, I woke up and crawled out of the northern edge of the Grand Canyon, that cursed place. It took me three months to reach New Canaan. It was as though the prodigal son had returned. They welcomed me like I had never left. Surprised they well, recognized you if you were a mummy The man. fire that had kept me alive was love. Their love. God's love. I will never be able to repay the debt I owe to them. But I must try. Okay. So he means the best he can, right. given his circumstances. He's just a bit overzealous, I think. To be fair, his enemies do seem legitimately Possibly. harmful. And he just runs into this the river. Do you not have anything else to sell? He has no money. Oh, that's right. We had that conversation. Hey, you changed colors. You look, your bear claw looks funny on your armor. Yeah, it just kind of makes it look like she has a weird hand. Got to be you. I'm going to talk to you while you're wearing that because it seems silly. What's your deal? <laughs> Waking Cloud is my name. I am midwife to the sorrows. It sounds ill omen, no? Midwife to sorrows? It does. I haven't seen any children. She's a really bad midwife. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> she works she, at an awful hospital. Yeah, she, yeah she's tr supposed to live with the babies, but she just eats them instead. Delicious. The children and the old have already been evacuated from the camp. Oh, they are okay. safe enough. 
unless the white legs come for us in force. Also, we don't have models for them. So she's so she's the the Alphys on the genocide room. Right? Yeah. Except we're like the anti genocide. We we no ge- the the yeah I know white legs are the genocide. yeah exactly and we're fight we're uh, we're fighting the genocide yeah. so we're like going to genocide the genocide you're, I guess you're you're trying to be undying in this case I guess I to other except we have pistols we have gun is I also scout the valley and you the can't lose <laughs> right we ha- we have more de- we have enough determination what would you speak of? No, your body is more stable with the determination. Right, yeah. We're a Humnin. And we have more determination than the Humnins we're fighting. I am always a little sad to leave the nails. Your voice is going to be muffled because of that helmet. <laughs> it's true. At least there's a reason for it. See, so yeah, I think it's going to come down to helping them flee or destroying the white legs is going to be I think the big moral decision here is what it's looking up to be the sorrows just want to leave in peace whereas Joshua Graham wants to keep his land which isn't and there is no like diplomatic way to deal with them the white leg- it doesn't seem like we can talk to the white legs because well, we don't speak their language so they function as raiders then it seems that way. They you they see you, they attack you. Just, which isn't how people would I believe would work in a cataclysmic world, but. And it depends on the circumstance. Right, but I've heard that for like data gathered from relief agencies that like when a huge disaster occurs, people immediately start banding together. Typically, you don't get like. Tons of horrible looting and douchebaggery, so much as people working um, together, is what I've it heard. It depends on the type. If you have, like, if you see, like, a hurricane, as soon as people start getting evacuated, people start looting. Like, immediately. Oh. Oh, tomahawks. Well, that's my tomahawk now. It is in my body. It is my. Oh! Wait, what? Oh, there! That's what's shooting me. Let's try the 45 pistol. <laughs> like they're trying to grab it, like, it's mine, give it. Give me the gun. Oh. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, I guess you get 45 ammo all over the place here, though, because every weapon is a 45. No, I think there's also, like, 470 for the brush that was guns. Super strong. It's what the white legs are using, because, like, every tribe has their own gun. Oh, I have one hit point. Am exactly I one hit one? About, No, I have 17, which may as well be one. I'm not used to pragmatic. Oh shoot, she's carrying all my medic. Wait, you gave her all of your stim packs? Yeah, I just let's see, alright. But the stim packs don't weigh anything. Let's see, it's fine. It's not fine, but it's survivable, maybe. Alright, this we should regen super fast now. We just need a few seconds of not getting shot. Okay, we're good. I see you down there. Ow. You might need a few more seconds. I'm not going to What are you doing? She doesn't use a gun. Oh, she doesn't? Nope, she uses her bear arm. So she's not very useful when it comes to range. But thankfully that guy came at her with a sword. Yeah, they use 4570 gov... gov... But it's still a type of 45. I don't n- think it's compatible. Oh. Someone's still shooting at you. It's fine. I have this tree to protect me. I'm going to use this gun because it has more bullets. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> she wants to use the tree. <laughs> that sounds like she has to go to the bathroom. There they are. Can I target you? Okay. So these are just melee people now. I have the advantage. Because they can't get up this hill. I have the high ground! And your head pop off. Shut up! We're fighting! 
Oh, it's just, it's just it's a dog. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what was that sound? Oh! <laughs> That's the vet.